Cool. And then it's pretty simple. We'll just solve each of those dinky little equations, right? Negative nine six, which is also three two. Yeah, I'll like that. Cool. Over there, subtract eleven. Divide by six. Yeah, you could either just circle those bad boys, you could put them together, and the <coughs> solution is that lesson. Thank you. I really don't care. As long as you can find the answers, I'm happy. All right, so circle both of those at least. Cool. So that's not too bad, right? Maybe that, it makes sense. After you value, a couple of, of things lead to the same answer. So there should be a couple of possibilities for each one at most. Right? So let's, let's take it up. You know there's always a next level. Yeah. And then probably another level after that. It is the other side minus two. So are you going to give us E one? Yeah, don't worry. I'm getting there. Okay. Let's first do this. So what if I had, um, actually let me make it even more discussed. Three plus the value. Three plus this equals 10, 3 plus this equals negative 10. That is a mistake. Why does this work? Because I have absolute value equals something. So the inside could be 2 or the inside could be negative 2. That's why it works. What's wrong with that? Why is it not quite there? Exactly. So you isolate your absolute value. You can even say that a lot. Whenever you're trying to solve equations, you normally isolate where your variable is and then work on that piece. So here, I got to subtract the three first, right? Get your I, get your absolute value by itself first, where the variable's stuck. Get it by itself first, and then you can do your whole cases. Right? Seven or minus seven. Yeah. So either this is seven, or this minus seven. Minus seven. Yeah. So add nine. X is 4, or add 9, X is 1 half. Sweet. Oh. Think about it, what makes sense? 3 plus what is 10? 3 plus what is 10? 7. 7, so what's this got to be? 7. And you won't know that until you take that step. But it only makes sense if you just step out of the equation for a second and say, what the hell is all that crap? I don't, it's a bunch of crap. What's the whole damn thing got to be? Seven. So this piece has got to be seven. That's what that says. So if you don't isolate it first, you're going to make it 10 or negative 10, and that's totally wrong. How'd that guy escape all the crap that's supposed to happen to him? He's supposed to change signs, too. So get all your numbers together first, like we know we should do anyway. Cool. So just don't forget that. I always get a ton of people that just do all this whole section <coughs> wrong, and they just keep basing on that picture, have to value by itself first. Oh. Now, <coughs> let's look at uh, a special case equation, and then we'll get into the inequalities. I'll let you guys try a few out. Uh, let's see. So you guys mean this is what you were saying a second ago? see is somebody just makes that say 6 plus x. And the problem with that is I can't take the absolute value of this until I know what number it is. You can't just make a piece of the number positive. That's no good, right? I don't even know what number that is, so I can't really do the absolute value. I've got to do this special case thing. Mm -hmm. So what's the first step there, though? Subtract 7. Subtract 7. 
So you get the absolute value of 6 minus x equals now, if you keep going, you're going to get two answers, and they both will suck. They will both not work. That's a little evil. But notice what that says. What does that equation say? Every value of something is negative. Right there, I should stop. I have no more work to do. I already know that's a bogus freaking equation. Right? If you keep going, you will get answers. So if you keep going, you say 6 minus x equals uh, negative 3, or 6 minus x equals change the sign, I get my answers, and neither one of them will work. Because right there, I know it's bogus, right? So you've got to watch out for those. Because if I'm you, I'm not going to necessarily check all my answers. That's the only way you could catch this. But the better way to catch it is actually right there. You know it's wrong. You know there's no solution. If you don't look for that, you're going to have to check all your answers just to make sure you didn't miss it. So might as well just look for that. If you have an absolute value equals a negative, <coughs> why go further? Oh, because absolute value equals, anytime you see a negative and you do the work, you know it's a no solution. Because again, an equation's saying, what x's can I throw in there to make this true? Mm -hmm. Well, take a bigger step back. The absolute value, what is negative? Nothing. So can x save my ass? Any x's I can put in there? Let's make x the monster super badass number. Yeah, it can save me from it. No, I don't care. Actually, about anything has to be positive. We know that. So nothing can save me. There's no solution. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. All right, so let me talk about the inequalities, because those get weird. And then we'll, I'll let you guys try a few <coughs> on your own. This is where I start talking about uh, mathematical restraining orders. You know, like, yeah, whatever the hell you want to talk about, Jeff. Uh, so inequalities involving absolute values. So a real quick word about inequalities in the real world. Every time you step on an elevator, your life is depending on somebody's correct interpretation of an inequality. Does anybody have any clue what I'm talking about? Well, uh, related to what? So if you got 20 people, you all cram into an elevator. You ever see the little thing on that? Hopefully it says inspected and actually has dates on it that are hopefully recent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it say something about weight. maximum weight. <laughs> capacity. Mm -hmm. Maximum capacity, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that an inequality? You want the maximum weight to be, you want the total weight to be less than or equal to that. <coughs> right? So whenever you see inequalities in a problem, they normally relate to some kind of limiting thing. Like uh, you have a wire, it can carry less than or equal to this much current, or else it's going to melt. Mm -hmm. You have, uh, I don't know, a window pane, it, it can uh, transfer heat at less than or equal to this rate. So you want to keep your house cool or warm, you got to get the right thing in there, right? So how many guys are ever work construction, or I think I asked this before. Because if you ever work construction, you, you hit these kind of uh, mathematical situations all the time, you start to realize, oh, that's why the hell this is important. Shit. <laughs> I want my house to stand. I want to be warm. I don't want to die in a freak elevator accident. Please, dear God, somebody know math. Right? Especially when you work with electricity. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't know, because I've gotten jolted quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm like a Tim <coughs> electricity. Um, all right, so. How the hell is it? Let's start again. Let's start with the most basic kind of example I could I could do. So let's start with uh, how they work with uh, less than stuff. Actually, let me let me uh, yeah let me do this. Well, wow, I'm really loud. I guess <laughs> with the outside people, I'm like man, he's loud. Um, so let me do that. I'm sorry. So make that as x minus one. Because normally it's related to 0, but now we're going to relate it to 1. So remember what we did earlier? When we said, okay, here's 1, I can go up to 4 and down to negative 2. Remember that? We did that earlier. But now it's an inequality, so the distance can be at most 3 away. So how far up can I possibly go? Of course, I can go up to 4. Mm -hmm. And do you include 4? 
Four is, is three away. Are you guys kind of with me? Yeah. So this is like the less than thing is trying to keep people close. I call that a sandwich. You want to keep people close, stay near me, right? So don't go more than three feet away. You can imagine you're walking down with somebody in this tunnel. Don't go more than three feet away from me, dude. And then behind you, you don't want them to get too far behind you because you can run out the other way and leave you alone and who knows what the hell's going to jump at you. And what, what symbols do you want of them? Since four will definitely work and negative two. Isn't that the other bracket? The outside bracket? What kind of, yeah, bracket, not parenthesis, right? Yeah, the uh, outside bracket. Oops. The other way. Put right. that. No, it's got to be out here. You don't want to, so the inequality a less than, you want to keep people close. You want the distance to be less than something. You want to keep them close. So you can see maybe why I call it a sandwich. There's your bread slices and your stuff in the middle, right? So it should make sense. If you have a less than with an absolute value, you want the distance to be less than something. You want to keep it close, right? Okay, so what would the algebra look like? We already know the answer. What would the algebra look like here? Well, I want this distance to go up to, you know, at most three up, and at most three down. Let me let you absorb that for a second. So how many steps up do I want to take away from one? I want to take at most three steps up. How many steps down do I want to take from negative from one? At most three steps down. So you can always rewrite a less than or a less than or equal to as a sandwich. You can always rewrite this like this. That's <coughs> kind of cool. And then you solve that bad boy. And that kind of goes along with the idea of stay close from this to this. It's all connected, right? So now, what would you do to solve this? Uh, I'd do one. <coughs> so go ahead, look most down to negative two, and then most up to four. Okay. Now be careful. Less than definitely works like this. You can do it like this. There's other ways to do it, but I think that's the, the quick, the best, easiest way to do it. Greater than can never work like this, ever. You can never write it like this because you come up with a, a statement that makes no sense. So let's look at greater than. What would greater than be? So let's say 